Time Micro has some really cool patches. This one, for instance, you could even use with a trip hop beat. There's also this gorgeous Harp Celeste Mandolin Fifth Drops patch. Of course, there's also choir, strings, winds, brass. So let's take a look at the whole package. This is a huge collection. I always take about an hour to go through every single patch. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the organizational structure, and then we'll dive in and listen to some of the sounds that make this collection so unique. This collection has a variety of unusual articulations as well as a few standard articulations. I think it's the unusual or uh, custom articulations that set it apart from other collections. And while many of the single instruments and ensembles share some articulations, it's probably best to approach the organizational structure from the instrument or ensemble group perspective first because some of the articulations within each instrument or ensemble group are idiomatic to that instrument and are only going to appear for that instrument or instrument type, such as the Colegno Trotto bowing for the string ensemble, or the sustains na 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 articulation for the mixed choir and the men and women's choir. You're not gonna find other instruments singing na na na. So with that in mind, if you want to see each of the articulations, you can head to the Orchestral Tools website and scroll through their Instruments tab. You can license each of these individually if you want to use the Sign Player, or you can use the Contact Player, which is what I'm using here. Of course, if you use Contact, you pay for it all at once. You can't buy them a la carte. But each set of articulations for each instrument group or ensemble is listed on the Orchestral Tools website there. Let's dive in.
Moving on, this is one of the more unusual ones, spiccato stuttering. I don't know that this has an equivalent in the swarms, uh, the Spitfire swarms. dynamic level down this this is the mod wheel all the way down it's pretty quiet pretty spare so you could use this for a lot of things from rain if you were up in the middle of the range to um, you know a deer being hunted And then you bring the mod wheel up. Gets pretty ferocious. So that's one of the more unusual ones. And then the fifth drops here. This one sounds gorgeous with the percussion instruments. It sounds a little more peculiar with the strings and very peculiar with the choir, as you'll see. So that's another um, kind of unusual articulation. Uh, flagellet sustains, or flagellet, if you're Janet Jackson. And that's as loud as it gets. We've got tremolos.
And they slow down when you bring the mud wheel down. Next, let's see. Okay, irregular arps. Now these are when we get to um, totally new. You know, wholly new kind of idea here. I think I questioned some of the intonation because, uh... I can't say they're wrong because, um, you know, my ear isn't the best and I have a fair tolerance for dissonance, but it was a lot for my ear to... And a buy that I would want to use some of these. Unless I was going for a bit of a somber melancholy. Some of them are a little bit easier on the ear intonation wise than others. And then there's another ar ar arpeggio here. Just be aware of the aleatoric nature of what you're getting there. And then of course Clockwork Eighths, and uh, this is where we get into these, uh, this piece of the, the puzzle that could work with really well with corporate music, interestingly enough. Obviously there's uh, less cheesy applications for it, but I wanted to make sure that I drew attention to the cheesy. Um, so clockwork eighths, basically a nice measured um, eighth note, and it'll go by your master tempo. It looks like I'm at about 114.6 here. Uh, let's move on to the string quartet multi. So these are all of the string quartet articulations. It looks like there are only 10 of them. Um, color sus non vibrato.
works really well for um, that kind of magical, mysterious sound. Um, SV, I forget what SV is, so we'll have to put it in the comments. I'm moving the uh, mod wheel in and out to kind of wave them in and out so that's not part of the uh, patch. Detache texture? Pretty cool. Uh, double stop. So these are just natural harmonics. I'm going to whiz through these because, you know, harmonics. Because they're natural harmonics, you just get a few of them. Uh, we've got uh, harmonic glissandi. Finger trim fifths, and then we'll move on to the wonderful bass ensemble after we're done with the uh, string quartet here. So this is really magical. Because it's a, a fifth tremolo, you can play a minor chord or a major chord and get this crazy shimmer here. Let me find some different chords. What about a sixth chord here? Something like this, even. Yep. I'll do a sus two. I'll do a chordal. I guess it would be this. So lots of neat options with a tremolo fifth that's been fingered and recorded for you. Um, a double stop artificial harmonic, or I think artificial articulated harmonic, I think is what it is. So some of these are, again, kind of the intonation is, is going to be a little bit more solid on a few of these than others. Because they're uh, articulated. It's going to be tough to somehow um, wrangle them into a perfect equal temperament if that's what you're going for. Chirping tremolos.
Here they're not even making an attempt to stay on a particular, on a, on a perfect pitch. Okay, Pendulum Swift. So these are their, kind of, if you're familiar with uh, 8DO's Arcos. These are kind of the, the, the timed Arcos, and these have Time Machine versions as well. I found the String Quartet Pendulum very bright. What did I do there? Clearly I played something I didn't intend. That's probably what I meant. So, uh, so a very bright kind of sound. But it sounds nice. And um, then we get the clocks. So clockwork spiccato. So at the bottom of the mod wheel, you get a quiet sing single rhythm. But as you bring the mod wheel up, it pulls in a triplet. And then you get sixteenths at the top. Could you do that yourself? Of course. But it's all there in one articulation with the mod wheel for you. So let's move to the bass ensemble multi and check out those because these, oh, blew me away. Just blew me away. One of the things that I liked about this is that you can play fairly close intervals and it still sounds mysterious and spooky. And then we get some airy versions of that, so you get even more air. And yes, the mod wheel is all the way up. Really beautiful sound. Uh, this is a uh, random swells.
Now this, I like to uh, think of a bunch of beached walruses. I just love that sound. Uh, let's see Tenuto stuttering. duck-like. Pendulum swells, ordinaire, I believe. Sounds about the same at both extremes of the mod wheel. That would be chilling in a thriller. We get into our clockworks quarters. to substitute in and we've also got sixteenths which depending on the tempo
So sustains, no legato. This is a sustains WWH, so These are the na 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 sustains. The amen sustains. They found some great bases. Mumbling. I actually love this mumbling patch. This is uh, really nice quietly.
Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so these are more of the harmonic choir David Hikes style. Probably great for insects. I mean, maybe it's a little on the nose. What would an insect sound like? Probably more of a cluster. Almost sounds like a kitty cat, too. Meow. Waves and fifths. So the waves come slower and then the fifth drops come quickly. And go more bird-like to me. Especially up high. Down here, there's a foresty feel. But it does have come across with that very contemporary choral sound, contemporary writing. A little on the arty, artsy side. Um, irregular fifths. Clockwork eighth. Hit the uh, beautiful and gorgeous and probably my favorite in the whole package, this Harp Celeste Mandolin. Medieval and magical. We've got tremolos.
that just feel like mourning. Twilight. The fifth, uh, the fifth drops uh, really makes sense for this instrument pairing, instrument group, trio. Regular arps, of course. Now that's easier to make uh, the rain kind of sound. Here's irregular. Ah, some of my favorite stuff there. Irregular fifths, so. Uh, out of time, I think, is what the irregular implies.
This definitely responds to the mod wheel. some of this from the uh, combined uh, groupings where it's I think it's called the time orchestra section and uh, that ends, adds a lot of urgency lends a lot of urgency to the group um, pet, uh, instruments there slow motion trills let's hear that So we can crossfade. Majestic sustains. Pendulum swells. Clock eighths. Triplets.
Bye. Uh-huh. 